What's up designers? Today we're going to learn how to make a classic 3D text effect, also called an anaglyphic text effect, in Adobe Illustrator. Um, this is episode 2 of my Optical Illusion series, so if you like this content, uh, subscribe to my channel or just subscribe anyway and leave a like. I'm going to name this anaglyphic, and for the width and height I'm going to have 1500. Uh, color mode doesn't matter, but I'm going to pick RGB. Okay, now that we have uh, the artboard open, I'm going to go to my type tool, and just uh, I'm just going to click in the artboard to start typing, and I'm going to type the word focus. Uh, it's pretty small, so I'm going to go up here, crank it up to about 250 pixels. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to align it here, uh, just in the align panel. Make sure you're aligned to artboard so those work. Okay, now that I have uh, the font centered, I kind of want a, a fatter font, so I'm going to pick Arial Black. You can just uh, scroll in the character panel to pick that and keep that centered just hit those again okay um now that i have uh the uh the type centered there's a uh, the first way that i'm going to show is kind of the easier way uh we're just going to hit command c to copy then command shift v to paste in place you can also find those commands here in the edit copy and then paste in place and now i should have two black copies on top of each other. I'm just going to create one that's red. I'm going to nudge it over um, about 20 pixels holding shift and just hitting the arrow key. Then I'm going to hit command C, command shift V to copy another one and paste it in place. And I'm going to hit blue. I'm going to go two over and then two more over. Um, and now I just need to send the red and the blue layers to the back. So the way I'm going to do that is going to go to object, arrange, send it back. Then I'm going to highlight the red one, object, arrange, send it back. And uh, that's one way to do it. Um, but uh, this way, I think, creates a little bit of issue. Um, you kind of need to go in and maybe do the tracking out a little bit more just so they don't overlap. Um, so there is another way to do this that uh, kind of makes that problem not exist, which I think is a better way to do it. Um, so I'm just going to do, I'm just going to copy one of these, just bring it up, and going to make sure the opacity is normal. Okay, now that I have um, another one set up, I'm just going to go here to the tracking, turn it back to zero, and uh, then I'm going to create one that's red, then I'm going to copy, command C, command shift V to paste in place, I'm going to make a blue one. I'm going to nudge it over two pixels or 20 pixels like that. And I'm going to highlight both of them. And I'm going to open up the transparency panel here by clicking opacity. And I'm going to go to multiply. And there you go. That's all you have to do for that one. Um, it's only two objects. So I think this one's like a lot more like malleable. And you, know, you can kind of create different effects like that. And uh, yeah, both uh, can kind of bug your eyes out in uh, weird ways, though. Yeah, it's fun to play around with. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Going to make uh, some more Optical Illusion videos. Uh, so yeah, leave a comment on ones that you want to see. Thanks for watching. Bye.